Thank you to all of our sponsors for making our Computex 2023 coverage possible. Hey everyone, it's been a long time, four years now, but we are finally back at Computex 2023. So uh, yeah, we thought we'd stop by the Clev booth and, uh, and see exactly what's going on. They have a couple of new products. So basically what they're actually showing here is their Crass XR5 RGB. They have got it in a few different colors. Of course, as the name suggests, RGB. It is going to, I guess what they've done is they've announced that it's going to be 8,000 megahertz, but what they've actually got behind me is a system set up and as you can see, it's running much, much faster than that. So we're talking 8,600 megahertz, which it just seems like, you know, it's absolutely crazy considering DDR5 hasn't actually been out that long. And even when it did launch, you know, there wasn't really much between DDR4 and DDR5. Now we're really starting to see it stretch its legs, mature a little bit, and just, you know, get these super crazy speeds. So along with that, um, they, ha they are actually displaying uh, with the memory and SSD that they are announcing at Computex as well. Bear in mind the memory and the SSD, we're going to be looking at a couple of months, maybe even into sort of, you know, the end of Q3, uh, start of Q4 for this. But what we've got there is the Crass C950. So uh, as we actually go around the booth, you will see that they've um, teamed up with a couple of modders just to sort of show off the memory and the SSD and exactly, you know, how it can look in a typical or maybe not so typical system and you will see that with some of the b-roll that we overlay like the steampunk build and one that actually has an air purifier built in it kind of crazy but this is Computex it is I guess what we've come to expect from brands trying to showcase their latest products now with the SSD the C950 it is available in two colors so on this system we can see there is a black and silver one and then on this system over here there's a black and white one they do look absolutely amazing it's nice to see white components again especially considering I guess a lot of brands have taken a bit of a hiatus away from having white products. So it's nice to see that potentially make a comeback and hopefully that then spurs motherboard manufacturers onto making white motherboards again. Now, in terms of the speeds and the capacities, they are gonna have it in one terabyte, two terabyte and four terabyte. And the speeds are gonna be 12,000 megabytes a second on the, uh, on the read and 11,000 megabytes a second on the right, which is probably complete overkill for, I guess, what the average gamer needs, what the average enthusiast needs. I know right now that Deck is smiling behind the camera because he's a, he's a content, you know, we are content creators, we are editors. That's where PCI Express Gen 5 is really going to come into play, alleviating any bottleneck, really sort of, you know, pairing and matching and balancing well with the likes of the latest uh, NVIDIA RTX 40 series, which again are great for editing. So it's just trying to sort of, you know, have that balance system for a content creator. And I think that's really where this is going to come in. In terms of the controller, it's the latest Fizon E26 controller. And if you didn't know, Clev uh, and Essen Core as a brand are actually part of the SK group. So it's very, very easy for them to yeah, manufacture products in comparison to some other brands who actually buy products from them because they do have a B2B business as well as just your kind of, you know, general B2C market. So yeah, um, like I say, a couple of months for both products. We have got the Crass XR5 RGB and also the uh, Crass C950. So uh, yeah, they're gonna be coming very, very soon. Obviously when they do, um, be sure to check it out, etechnics.com. We will have reviews on both the memory and the SSD. And uh, yeah, that's it. Stay tuned for the rest of our Computex uh, 2023 coverage. Feels weird saying that, like I say, four year hiatus away from the show, but we will have a lot more content for you and I'll see you in the next video. See you later guys, bye bye.